This is an image of the lost city of Atlantis today. And this is an image of what it used to look like 12,000 years ago. This structure is called the Eye of the Sahara, and it's located in the Sahara Desert. The only ancient records that we have referring to the city of Atlantis are Timaeus and Critias, written around 360 BCE by the ancient Greek philosopher Plato. Plato talks about an ancient advanced civilization that was destroyed by natural disasters 9,000 years before his time. He says that its information comes from his ancestor Solon, who once traveled in ancient Egypt in seek of knowledge. Plato writes, Atlantis was made of alternate zones of sea and land larger and smaller, encircling one another. There were two of land and three of water. Plato's description matches perfectly the description of the eye of the Sahara if its lower parts were filled with water, which in all likelihood they were only a couple thousand years ago. This is evident by the existence of salt on the bottom of those giant pits. It wasn't so long ago that this structure was filled with water, plants and animals. In fact, the entire Sahara Desert was a large green ecosystem filled with lakes and rivers only 5,000 years ago. Plato's description of Atlantis isn't the only similarity it has with the eye of the Sahara structure. As it turns out, Plato claims that the outer circle of land had a diameter of 127 stadia, which is equivalent to 12.44 miles or 20 kilometers. These measurements are the exact same as those that can be taken from Google Maps on the eye of the Sahara structure. In Timaeus, written in 360 BC, the book details the travels of Solon to Egypt in 600 BC, where he met a priestess. The priestess referenced a great civilization where her people fled after a great cataclysm. Atlantis was ruled by a series of kings, and its citizens were said to be highly advanced in various fields, including engineering, architecture and military prowess. However, the priestess described that 9,000 years prior, the city was swallowed by the sea. That would make the sinking of Atlantis around 11,600 years old. Around that time, we know from today's science that one of the largest climate and ecological destructions took place on Earth, one almost as great as that which wiped the dinosaurs. Scientists call this event the Younger Dryas Impact, and it goes as follows. 12,000 years ago, a meteorite crashed into the Earth's surface, causing the mass extinction of various animal species, vast wildfires spreading all around the globe and most importantly immense flash floods. Just after the Younger Dryas impact ended around 11,500 BC, the Meltwater Pulse 1b began, the largest rise of the sea level ever reported on Earth, with waters rising more than 40 meters covering entire islands with salt water, the floods that were created most likely caused the city of Atlantis to be swallowed by the sea. But how is that evident in the eye of the Sahara structure? As seen from above, the terrain around the structure has long-lined formations of sand that could only mean the impact of a tsunami or some kind of massive flooding, thus making it clear that the entire region around the eye of the Sahara got flooded at some point around 11,500 years ago, just like the ancient city of Atlantis did around 11,600 years ago. According to all of this evidence from both science and satellite imagery, it is not that crazy to argue that the sinking of the city of Atlantis and the flooding of the Eye of the Sahara structure could have happened during the same year. But the similarities don't stop there. Plato. This part of the island looked towards the south and was sheltered from the north. The surrounding mountains were celebrated for their number and size and beauty, far beyond any which still exist, having in them also many wealthy villages of country folk and rivers and lakes. The mountains Plato mentions in the northern part of the city also exist in the eye of the Sahara structure, and when observed from above, it can really be said that they were once full of hundreds of rivers and lakes flowing down the once green valley. Plato also mentions that the city had an opening to the sea in the south, which can also be said about our structure. The last and most important evidence that the Eye of the Sahara was indeed the location of the Atlantis is two of the oldest maps ever discovered containing Africa. This is the work of the father of history, Herodotus. According to him, this is what the world looked like in 430 BC. If we look where the Eye of the Sahara would be located, we read the word Atlantis. 
If we travel about 500 years forward in time at around 43 CE, we encounter the work of a unique among ancient geographers, Pomponius. Once again, if we orient the map so the north is on the top and zoom just below Gibraltar, we find ourselves close to the eye of the Sahara where we read the word Atlante. Without a doubt, the eye of the Sahara is the most likely location of the lost city of Atlantis, if we assume it ever existed.